Hey guys, it's Josh with Happy Little Landscapes here. We're here with some Gamblin Gambar gloss and one of our favorite paintings uh, that we called Gravity Falls. So we're gonna uh, show you guys how to clear coat this thing. Don't need a lot. And uh, what I use is a fan brush just because I have these real textured bits of our trees that uh, tend to rip up the uh, rip up the sponges. So without further ado, let's hit this bad boy. Like I said, you don't want too much. A lot goes a long way. And you want to make sure your painting is very dry. This one I just painted last Friday. It's Thursday, so it took about six days for this one to dry. And then just very lightly go over. And you'll see the depth that this stuff gives your painting. It's just amazing. Makes the brights brighter, makes the darks darker. And then you have like this, almost like you're looking through glass with this uh, layer of clear that it gives you. It's really awesome. But you do want to make sure your painting is dry and nice and hard, especially if you're a textured painter like I am, Bob Ross oil paint and stuff. You want to make sure it's nice and hard to the touch. Because when you go over it, if you've got wet paint, you're going to smear everything, right? So it's got to be hard, got to be dry, got to be done. And then just back and forth until you have this even coat. That's why I said I like using a fan brush, just because you get over these textured, textured bits of the trees. And then it starts ripping it up, and then you've got chunks of brush inside your chunks of foam inside your drying painting. There we go. Now, if you can see any of these bubbles in here, don't worry about the bubbles. The bubbles will pop and dry as it dries, but you can see you want it nice and thick over the entire painting. All right, we want to double check that we've got every single spot, the same amount of glossiness. And then we're gonna let it dry. You don't wanna hang it to dry because this stuff will drip down and then end up drying in this weird drippy motion. There we go, one last final look at it. Very lightly, side to side, make sure you cover every last bit. And then that's it. We'll wash our brush here, our little paint thinner. down into the beater bucket. This brush I've given up on trying to paint with, so now I'll use it to uh, use it to clear coat my paintings. And you can see it gives it this wicked gloss. And you still have your textured bits of paint that'll stand up through the, the thing, so you don't, you don't lose your textured look, but it gives it this wicked depth. So, well, all right, guys. I could sit here and stare at this thing all day, but uh, we'll say goodbye, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.